Today I'm targeting sheep's head. I'm pretty much a beginner at sheep's head fishing. The bait stores haven't been selling fiddler crabs lately. So I went out and caught my own today. Have a good amount of fiddler crabs in there. The setup I'll be using today is a 3000 size reel on a seven foot rod. A uh, 20 pound braided line, and this is 30 pound fluorocarbon leader with a bottom sweeper jig. When I get to the spot that I'm fishing, I'll show how I'm going to hook the fiddler crabs. I have a low outgoing tide right now, only a couple hours of the tide going out before it hits complete low tide. My plan is to fish around structure. So I'll start at this bridge up here. I'm gonna try to be in uh, five to 10 foot of water. If you're interested in any of the gear that I'm using today, I'll have links down below in the description of this video. Wind isn't too bad right now, but it is supposed to pick up later, but hopefully it doesn't get too rough. Okay, I'm in the first area that I'm gonna fish show how I'm going to hook these fiddler crabs. So the way I've learned to do it is to just stick it through where one of the legs is and out the other side. It's like that, the hook's sticking out a little bit. If I'm doing anything wrong here with how I'm hooking it, please leave a comment below and let me know. Alright, here we go. Just gonna drop it as close to the bridge as I can get. I'm in 8 point... I'm in about 9 foot of water. I'm gonna drop it to the very bottom first. And then reel it up a little bit off the bottom. And at that point... I'm just waiting for a bite. Okay, so I'm moving to a different spot. Uh, that first area, I lost like two fiddler crabs. Uh, I don't know if they just fell off or if I missed the bite on a sheep's head or something. But I'll probably go back to that area in a little bit and try again. Now right now I'm just gonna try under this dock for a little bit. All right, so I lost one fiddler crab at that dock, but now I'm moving over to the next dock. It's really tempting to throw on a bucktail jig and jig around for flounder and redfish right now. But I'm trying, I'm really trying to target sheep's head. So hopefully I catch a sheep's head soon so that I won't end up switching to a, to a jig and targeting other fish. Okay, here I am at the next dock about eight foot deep right here. Same thing, I'm dropping it to the bottom, reeling it up a little bit. I'm not anchoring up or tying off or anything. I'm just holding myself in place with the pedals. Okay, so I'm really confident that I just had a sheep's head bite. So I'm gonna fish this same spot for a little bit. Got a fish, got a fish. It's a sheep's head. Okay, it's not big, but it's a sheep's head. I'm gonna net it. Whoa, <laughs> it's not even big, it's putting up a good fight still. Yeah, I had a feeling they were around here because I did have what I thought was a bite. Oh, that's what I'm looking for right there. It's 
looks awesome. Just glad to catch one. Oh, well, they gotta be 14 inches to keep. My guess is it's only around 12 inches, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure it. First sheep set of the day. First sheep set I've caught in probably years, honestly. All right, let me get a quick measurement. Yep, it's only 11 and a half inches. Let me show the teeth on this thing. That is my first sheep set of the day. First one in forever. I've barely ever caught any sheep's head. It's not really new to this. All right, I'm gonna let it go and I'm going after some more. Once again, I was using the bottom sweeper jig I think this is like three eighths ounce or something. It's not a half ounce, it's less than a half ounce. A 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. Yeah, I had two fiddler crabs on here when I caught that one. So oh, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put two on here instead of one. Yeah, that's how I'm doing it. Two fiddler crabs. Heading back to the same area, try to get another one, hopefully a bigger one. Here I am, I'm gonna get right up on this dock. I'm gonna like stop myself with my hand without cutting myself on the barnacles. And I'm dropping it right here, right next to the piling. on the bottom and I'm reeling it up a little bit. I'm just waiting for the light bite. It's a really light bite for sheep's head. Yeah, I just had another bite. Lost both my fiddler crabs. So they're here. <sighs> another bite. Lots of bites. Tons of bites. Gotta be tons of sheep's head on, under here. I'm just missing the bite. I'm gonna start just using one fiddler crab. It's because I don't wanna run out. There we go. As soon as it touched the bottom. Found a spot where there's a good amount of sheep's head, I think. Not a keeper. About the same size as the last one. But they're biting good right now. Actually, this one's a little bit bigger, I think. this hook out without getting bit. There we go. It's another one. Uh, yeah, 11, 12 inches. Might be a little bit bigger than the last one, but not a lot. Try to get some more. Okay, so the bite stopped at that dock. I ended up getting two sheep's head at that dock. I'm gonna move on to the next one. Okay, this wasn't even very close to the dock. I wonder if this is a flounder. No. Sheep set? No, it's a black drum, I think. I think, I can't tell yet. Sheep set or black drum. Either way. 
I'm gonna net it. It's a little bit bigger. Uh, this, yeah, that's a black drum. It's hard to tell until you see their face. Yep, that's a, definitely a black drum. Thought it might be something different because I was not like right up against the dock when I hooked it. I, I don't catch a lot of these because I don't use a lot of live bait. I don't use a lot of bait in general. I use a lot of artificials. Oh, this one's probably a keeper. They gotta be 14 inches to keep. 14 is the minimum. I can't remember what the maximum length is, but I'm not, I don't plan on keeping it. Yeah, 14 and a half, that's a keeper. It's a keeper black drum. You can hear it drumming. Just gonna let it go. It's probably a sheep's head. Looks like a better size one than the last two. Yeah. Possibly a keeper. Can't really tell yet. Uh, regardless, I mean, it puts up a great fight. Looks bigger than the last two. Not a ton bigger. Yeah, it's bigger. That's sheep's head number three. And there's a chance that it will be around 14 inches, I think. All right, I'm interested to see how big this one is. Hopefully I can measure it without dropping it, because it's freaking out a little bit every time I touch it. Gotta be careful handling these because there's some really sharp spikes right there. Alright. Barely, but it is a keeper slightly over 14 inches yeah just under 14 and a half when you measure it with the tail pinched that's my first keeper sheep's head ever first ever keeper sheep's head let me get a zoom in on the teeth. All right, gonna let him go. Try to catch some more. This is my third one. Fourth fish, if you count that. Black drum. There you go, it didn't swim away at first, but it swam away now. Okay, so this spot that I got this last sheep said, it's about five to five and a half feet deep. just right up against the dock it's a really light bite and then you got to set the hook and like I well look at that wow lost my bait like I said in the beginning of this video I'm I'm still very much a beginner when it comes to this kind of fishing I think uh, a lot of time how I'm missing a lot of bites is I'm dropping it to the bottom and I'm not reeling fast enough to feel the bite. So the line's slack when they're stealing my bait and that's what j happened just now, I'm pretty sure.
another one feels pretty pretty good size that's a black drum I think that's definitely a keeper size black drum things put up a really tough fight to have the drag really tight that's another thing when you're fishing around the structure like this keep your drag really tight so they can't just run straight into the piling and break you off it's definitely a black drum unless it's a big no it's a black drum really good fighting fish this is a really good size one really good keeper size black drum yeah, about 16 and a half inches black drum pretty hard fighting fish and they love the fiddler crabs it's a lot of black drum so it's really fun to catch them Okay, it's been a little bit without any bites. I'm heading back over to the dock where I caught my first two sheep's head today. At the beginning of the video, I said that the wind was supposed to pick up, but it still hasn't yet, so it's pretty good. Today is a rare day where it's actually better than what the forecast said. Okay, I've been turning the camera off to save battery. Uh, but it's got a bite right here, so I'm gonna keep the camera on for a little bit See if I can get another bite There we go. Another smaller sheep's head. But it's the targeted species, so... It's fun learning how to catch these things. one's definitely not a keeper. No need to measure it. Yep, probably 12 inches or whatever. It's the fourth sheep's head of the day. Try to get another bigger one again. Alright, hook something. a little bit bigger than whatever I cut. Yeah. So either sheep's head or black drum. The black drum it looks like. Yeah, that's a black drum. Another keeper size black drum. Keep them away from the dock. There we go. Yeah, it's a good keeper black drum. I don't need to net him. Just gonna lift him in.
probably been catching just as many black drum as sheep said. I think this is the biggest one of the three. I'll measure it. No, it's about the same size as the last one, 16 and a half. You hear it drumming. Perfect keeping size for around here, but I'm letting it go. <clears throat> Current's starting to pick up and get a little bit stronger. So I'm switching to a different rig. This is a half ounce weight with just a a small J hook. Another fish? Uh, can't tell. He has another black drum. Smaller one. Yeah, it's not a keeper. There you go, probably like 12 inch black drum. See what this one is. I think it's another black drum. Yep. Tons of black drum around. Another small one, not a keeper probably. And it's still fun to catch. Yeah, probably like a 13 inch black drum, so probably not a keeper. Okay, these are my last two crabs. Both of them on the same hook. Gonna see if I can catch one more and then call it a day. Okay, I'm out of fiddler crabs now, so it's time to call it a day. I'm really new to this type of fishing, so got one keeper sheep's head which was my first keeper sheep's head ever. Uh, I think I caught four sheep's head total and probably four or five black drum total. Three black drum were keeper size, I think. Um, yeah, it was a really good day. I had tons of bites, which were mostly from sheep's head, just stealing the bait before I could set the hook. I'll definitely be trying this type of fishing out again. I don't know when, but it was a lot of fun. The sheep's head fishing was, you know, better than I expected, considering I I have really little to no experience. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.